Yo, 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 what up, though, man? We back. I see you got the mic this time. Hey, man, you already know. <laughs> got to make sure it was straight, man. Nah, for sure. We back. Hey, man, I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate you, man. The last one was a classic. Like, so many great segments and so many different clips that I see people post on their page now, like, different topics of, you know, different things we talked about. So. Yeah, yeah, man. I seen one of the clips, somebody was in Paris watching this shit. I said, hell yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, man. That shit's dope, man. Shout out to you. No, shout out to you, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Give, you know, you distributing all my clout, man. So, man, you know. I, I, hey, that's what I'm about, man. Like, I'm I'm always about that. Like, even all my friends, I even tell them, like, yo, if you find an artist that you want to manage, like, let's do it. Like, I want everybody a part of this, like, say cheese umbrella somehow, some way, like, you was there early as well, and you supported me from day one. So I always try to like keep that in um, in mind, and never, never try my best to never say no. Yeah, uh, yeah. May not be on time. Hey, so but... you Jesus now? You you may not be nah, early, I but you nah, I ain't Jesus, but. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel you, man. But last time, since the last time we talked, man, a lot of stuff been going down. Yeah, Dallas has been the hotbed for TMZ. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, going crazy. For, it's a lot of shit going on from strippers falling off poles to lawsuits and lawsuits and Eric Badu. Yeah, man. And so, you <laughs> might, since you already brought it up, man, let's get to it. So, you know, one day I just woke up and I just saw a beehive, just people going crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With the comment that you made about Eric Badu, man. Yeah. Just tell me what happened. Nah, but what, see, it, it got it got a lot of people got upset because of the blogs put two tweets together that I said. And it doesn't show that I'm really talk, replying to somebody. It's, it's just, if you just draw a look at it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, you're gonna, you, if you just see the tweets, you're gonna think that I was just dry talking about Erica Badu. And it wasn't like that. Um, a girl had said something like, Dallas is a useless city. The only thing they got in Dallas is a pretty skyline of Erica Badu. And then a guy had tagged me in it um, while I'm sitting in my shop in Deep Ellum. Like, while I'm in Dallas trying to put something together for the city, yeah. um, I get a tweet and it's like, yo, if Sean, Sean Cotton could have been da 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 da, but he, um, his his headquarters is in Miami. He could If he would have did it in the DFW, he would da da da. And while I'm sitting in the Dallas store, so out of frustration, being selfish, being competitive as I am, I uplifted myself. Yeah. And I said what I said, you know, Erica Badu, I've done more for the city than Erica Badu could ever. Trolling him, but I'm not thinking that because I'm replying to this guy. So I'm not thinking that this tweet is going to somebody's going to. I mean, of course, people see my tweets. Yeah. But because it wasn't just a dry tweet about her and I'm talking to somebody, I didn't think it would go viral. You know? Yeah. Like, have you ever just been in the zone or just talking to somebody on Facebook? You're not. It's not a DM. You're talking to them in the comments or on a status. You're talking to them directly, but and you're knowing that it's accessible. Anybody could get it, but you're not thinking that anybody would even care about it. So I wake up the next day, see tweets and subtweets about, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, um, about how I disrespected her and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, it, it really reached this level. Like on Facebook, they still talking about it. Do you feel like it was some truth to it? Because I mean, I've yeah, seen some nah, response yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like even when when people hit me up about it, like, and because I apologized on Instagram Live, um, with the you know with the Valentine's Day shit, the flowers yeah. and stuff like that, I asked her to be my Valentine, but I didn't apologize. Um, I didn't apologize saying that yo, I wish I never said it or I didn't mean it that or or I, or because I did mean it that way, but I I, I feel like I could have said it differently. Okay. Um, I feel like the the way I said it was kind of arrogant and people thought I was coming after her personally. Like, no, nah, it wasn't nothing personal. I love Erica Badu. Like I even said, I was going to buy five of those uh, fragrance things she's about to put her out. Her pussy like, fragrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't, it was nothing malicious. Like a lot of people are coming at me like I was like disrespecting her. I was really like, really, I was in a space to where though like, damn, like I, I'm, I'm, I should have lifted her up when I lifted myself up. Yeah. And that's that's where I went wrong at, you know? And this, I shouldn't even have compared and contrast. Like, I don't even... She's an artist at the end of the day. She don't owe nobody nothing. That's Let's right. get that overstood. I don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody nothing, but to just live and enjoy your family. Like, nobody owes anybody anything. Everybody really got to get it from the mud, but she doesn't owe anybody anything. So, 
And I don't owe anybody anything. I was just thrown in an argument and I was really pissed off about it. And I protected my honor, I not you. protecting our honor as black people. And I, and I was wrong for that. And she DM'd me and she had something to say about it. And I, I told her like, you know, th what you're saying is not really what happened. Like people are putting this out there. Like I just was just like coming after you. Never, like she's a legend. You know, what she means to Dallas, I probably would never mean to Dallas because I'm not physically born here. Right. So I'll probably never reach that status. And I and that's and I'm okay with that. As long as I can change lives, I'm cool with it.